All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the Benjaminator. And this is Mike. God help us, we are back in the abyss. Yep. A year and a half later, we're playing Final Fantasy VI once again. So, just to remind our viewers, but also to remind Mike, the last time we were stuck in the middle of a strange field, and we're trying to get back to the town of Narsh. As you might remember, Rocky was uh, thrown off the river because he has apparently uh, some kind of anger issues. So we picked up a guy with a mustache named Khan, and now we basically found a kid in the field named uh, Spaz. So now we're kind of wandering around. We I actually went ahead and uh, got some blue magic for this guy, and now we're going to be heading back to Narsh. So, right, hooray. so that way Spaz is slightly more useful than a chicken with its head cut off. Yep. And we already oh, got right, the proper that's equipment. Right. We got tons of potions, and we got the proper equipment, so... Uh, oh, hey, this guy has a dog. Yep. Good dog. He sure does. Yeah, yeah the, we the, found him. He's yeah, an the idiot. Kids, the kid's with us now. We got him captured. Because, you know, abducting children is always a good strategy. Yeah, we've also uh, volunteered to basically be, to play the role of the of a pigeon messenger for some injured soldier in town. But that's a side quest that will continue later. <laughs> So it is something you want to come back to. That is a person. Yep. My God, look at that jacket. I know. It's a fantastic jacket. I feel like there's a lot of people in this place that basically are uh, wearing very aristocratic helmet. outfits. I need a special hat <laughs> to swim through the river. Yep. And now we're going to be going in the direction of that special hat. If Rocky can ever get out of the garden. Which is proving to be difficult. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. It's been what? It's been Three it's been a year and a half since we played this, so. <laughs> so there's there's two oh we actually didn't talk to them a year and a half ago, believe it or not. And those are the only teenagers in town apparently. Uh, that are that are adept at growing cabbages, I'm I'm imagining. Something like that. We got some relics. Oh, we haven't checked out the relic shop. We should talk to this old sailor, see what he's got. Unfortunately, we're, we're flat broke, so we're not going to be able to... We already got sprint shoes, and we don't need a white cape, so we're, we're in good shape. We're fine. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So, As I said before, I don't remember much of what I was doing, so we're just going to... A yeah. decent amount of this one will probably be me drifting around like a moron. Yeah, my, Mike's pretty much playing on amnesia. But I assure you, viewers, that... We're up actually to a point in the game where there's some pretty exciting stuff that's going to be happening. Why are you hiding behind a tree? Oh yeah, that's that's the soldier that uh, we we already sent a letter for him um, to his girlfriend in a town called Miranda. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's everybody's very manic in this village. So. Okay, well let's go out in the wilderness like the morons we are. Yep. Now it's you want to head south. Is where we're going to be heading heading next. So, we're going to be reacquainting ourselves with the battle system. God help me. So remember, guys, that on the Videlt, you have you have uh, Spaz, who has the Rage ability, which allows you to copy various uh, various creatures. And this this you can use anywhere. Let's see what the Were Rats technique is. Yeah, but this this is by using Rage, you assume the form of um, a different of, a, of an enemy, basically, and you get to use their abilities. And on the Veldet, you get to leap, and leaping allows you to assume the forms of whatever, whoever you're in a battle in, and whoever whoever you're fighting when you come back. So, so basically, Spaz will disappear. When he comes back, he'll get the monsters from the battle that he leapt into and the ones that he came back. And I went ahead and got a bunch of monsters, so we're fairly set for the time being, but you can actually come back here later. So just so you guys know, uh, this place is not a great place for leveling up because a lot of the battles you'll fight, you'll notice that the enemies only give you essentially like gold or just items. And unfortunately, we can't get around those mountains. <laughs> <laughs> we have to circle back. Oh well, that's yep. fine. Yep. Oh geez, a whole lot of things. Oh yeah. Bunch so. of crazy barbarians. And I'll I'll try the go. Templar. I don't know. <laughs> Templar's fine. Alright, so. 
Hey, look, this fight actually might last more than a minute. Apparently. Yeah, I think the... Yeah. Two's decent, I think. Yeah, two is, uh, what is it? R retort? So you have to be attacked first before you get, 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 get hit. Oh, fire two. Nice. Good choice. Oh, yeah. There we go. That was sexy. Fantastic. Everything's <laughs> died horribly. Yep. So in that so last battle, we discovered which enemy was that you chose, Mike? Templar. Templar uses fire too. So if you guys want like a good, solid enemy to leap into, Templar is a good one. Hooray! Light shit on fire. Yep. Oh, we have him flanked. Fantastic. Yep. We got a side attack. I think you already got. It. There we go. No reason to do anything fancy. Yep. Yeah, guards are guards have nice melee attacks, but the thing about the thing about this particular uh, character, Spaz, or Gal, if you want to go by default names, is that some people like using them, some people don't. Depends how you feel about blue magic. The thing is, they have to understand about Spaz is that you can't control him in battle, so that means he's going to be on auto command. The only real drawback to him, otherwise he'd be completely OP. If you got to just assume the enemy's abilities and get to choose all like seven of them, that would be the bad. All right, so now we're in the cave. And if you tried to go here earlier when you didn't have spaz in your party, nothing would happen. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, goody. Okay, he's dragging his ass across the carpet. <laughs> no one knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Fantastic. Sir Spaz. <laughs> For the record, this is, uh, no, 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 you gotta realize Sir Spaz is the name of my new, uh, progressive funk band, check us out on Kazaa, that's a thing. Gonna invite Lace Is Kazaa still a thing? Do people still use that? Yep. Oh, good. The idiot has amnesia. Yep. Let's look around. La, 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 la. Checking out a cave. Oh, what's happening here? <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's, God, he's going all legolas on me. Yeah, he's kind of. Okay, fine. We'll go up. Meanwhile, there's toilet flushing in the background. <laughs> so nothing over here. Da, da, da. But there's no enemies, which is good. Really good. We're not running into any bears. Remember, guys, this is the only Final Fantasy game with bears. <gasps> oh yeah, so. Randomly, in the middle of a mound is a gold, uh, was it scuba helmet? Diving helmet. Diving, Diving helmet, yeah. And somehow this will allow three separate individuals to swim and breathe underwater. It's made of magic. Yep. They're, they're basically going to be like a reverse hydra. Like instead of three heads, it's going to be three bodies poking out of one head. <laughs> That's my guess. No. Pretty sure I saw that in a burlesque act in Louisiana once. Yeah, yeah, that's it's like a 1960s Belgian surrealist movie or something. <laughs> uh, don't underestimate surrealist movies, man. Yep. So, yeah, the only way you can see your friends again is to hop into this raging rapids. So, my plan... <laughs> so we're clear on this. Is to take a... 40 year old diving helmet that I found in a cave <laughs> given to me by a crazy hobo who wanders the plains and stabs animals shove that on my head and dive into the careening rapids atop a cliff and amazingly I didn't question this in 1994 because you were six <laughs> eight but yes <laughs> This is why we don't let eight-year-olds drive, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, yep. Yeah. So now we get to jump into the river. And now now we're going to be encountering one of the oddest part, parts of this game. Oh, God, no. Okay, so keep in mind, guys, that the two other characters are probably at least, like, a mile ahead at this point. Meanwhile, you know, Spaz just kind of stood around. Okay, so this is the Mode 7 glory that is the Serpent Trench. It's playing some pretty awesome music in the background. But you don't actually get to control anything here. Nope. You just get to run the random battles. But now we're going to fight some fancy underwater creatures. We're going to get murdered by fish. 
<laughs> Jesus, that is an ugly looking thing. Yep. Use your rage. Okay, we'll try using the ancient art of spooky ghosts on these things. Oh, Demi. It means we get to split their HP in half, but not sure how much good that does. Uh, that's, more. That's better than nothing. Ain't better than nothing. All right. We have to pummel him, punch him in the face, basically wave his fist around a bunch of times. Yep, and that hurts. Clamp. Oh, that sounds that sounds awful. That sounds genitally disfiguring. <laughs> That's why you don't wear loincloths when you're fighting mutant coral. They're also wearing armor in 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 a fast those ocean current. Like their their armor is just going to be rusted to death by the time they get out. Okay. No, so no, no. It's sealed. The si oh, was yeah. I supposed to make a decision there? I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, you actually you always want to go left. It's like Disney World. You always want to go to the left line. Now we get to fight the, the, the triple A, the Agroform, the Actinon, and the Aspic. Wait, Aspic? You mean like <laughs> the gelatin that you make me broth out of? Yeah, use your rage. Yeah, you, you want to kill the Aspic as fast as possible because it uses, it, it, it can dig boss you with a scary lightning bolt. Numb spine, or, or use numb spines and, oh, that's a stop to you. That's bad. Bad. Yeah. It's bad. Okay. I'm okay. We're getting hit by the hard shit, so do not hold back with the pain. Oh no, I won't. Uh, unfortunately, oh, not Giga Ball. Ow! Ow! <laughs> That's gonna hurt so much. Well, uh, I need those organs. Yeah. Well, there's gonna be a, a place where you get to use items pretty soon. There's pit stops in the uh, in the Serpent Trench. The Serpent Trench does have gas stations. Which is pretty cool. Right? That's fantastic, I suppose. Come on, Rocky. No, this is gonna be. Oh, okay. If he used it on Rocky, that would have really sucked. Okay. I'm gonna save us. Uh, can we revive Gal? Would that be a. Or, or Khan, yes. Sorry. Suplex! Alright, now the, the only one left is that guy. Okay, so Spaz is back. Oh, good. Snare. Finally, finally snapped out of it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, go to the underworld, you freaking jello mold. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a jello mold with the voice of Gilbert Goffrey, pretty much. Like, I'm going to hit you with lightning. Well, okay, that's not really Gilbert Goffrey, but... Ugh. Now what? Funny thing is, you actually run away from these battles, although I'm not sure how that works. Like this. Yep. All right. Flee and live. <laughs> Just breaststroke. <laughs> yeah. All right. So at least one of us is out of there. Come on, Rocky. Pump those legs. <laughs> Flee and live. <laughs> yep. Pretty soon we get to access our items. All right. Come on. Get to that serpent trench. You can do it. No more battles. Zoom! Okay, now we're apparently spinning in circles. And this is surreal. Wee -hee! Ah! More battles. Don't drive Bathy Spears drunk, kids. <laughs> ah, run, 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 run. Okay. We gonna die. Wee! All right, I should be fighting back. Yeah, just, might as well. <laughs> ah, perfect. Still not sure how that's working. Just extreme. I think that we both have to do it <laughs> for it to actually make them flee decently. I don't think it actually does make a difference. I had that theory for a very long time, but having two people hold down both both the L and R buttons does not increase the your likelihood of running away. It's pretty much just random algorithm, like you know, <laughs> random numbers being programmed multiple times. Ron Rocky, you can do it. Okay, you. <laughs> you need to run. Yeah, this... Uh, we're almost to a pit stop, and then we're going to heal ourselves, and, and it, it shall be good. If we get into another battle, go to the item menu. Alright, there we go. Okay, we'll Throw be right back, guys. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna heal ourselves. Oh, okay, never mind. We made it all the way to the town. Oh, good. We're on the surface. Yeah, there, there's some uh, items that you can pick up, but we can we can go back to Serpent Trench at a later date. It's fine. That was not a one-off thing. Whee! I'm sure it's not, but I don't want to go back. <laughs> oh, we're not going to be able to go back now, anyway. 
And so now we, we the professional swimmers, going Fantastic. down the deadly trench, have washed There's up the on the menu button. Oh, there's an inn here, so you're, you can just kind of... Oh, okay, then we'll just do that. And there's not going to be any more enemies, so you can you can walk around with two carcasses just lying about. Story of my career. Yep. And actually, if you talk to that guy down there, he will take you. Nope. Still need to shop. Still need to shop. I have other stupid things to do. Whee! Hello. All right. Hello. So, you're not going to be able to shop in the salt water. That is an interesting configuration for a dock. Well, yeah, in theory it's like there should be a ship there. But these are not the most... This is not the best well-designed well dock. Let's put it that way. The boat is pointed at a wall. That's usually a bad sign. <laughs> yep. Not oh, like an engineer or something, but... Oh, there's a hilarious scene if you go into the cafe. Or the pub. The poob. It's pretty great. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. Have any important? What the? <laughs> it's like you just wash up on shore, and this guy just like, hey, you got any imported goods? <laughs> I'm no. trying to get around the local tariffs. Oh yeah, the the old guy that that was like, you show up at his house, and he's just like, fix my clock. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that kid's with us. Oh boy, we got a hooker. Got a hookah, and he's going after the the, 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 the recent widower. <laughs> Licentious Howler! Licentious Howler! I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Khan is pretty much an old Jewish mother. <laughs> How dare you call me baby, madam? <laughs> It's like, look, nobody thinks that you're being disloyal to your dead wife, man. <laughs> My ears are burning. Is, isn't that like a like a Johnny Lee Hooker song or something? That's uh, an old turn of phrase. Yeah. Then again, at this point, so is turn of phrase. Uh, yeah. I don't think anybody's used the word turn of phrase since the mid-60s. Well, that was a learning experience. Oh, it was. And that guy's just talking about all the, the ships that used to go places, but the Empire's been, you know, enacting the Navigation Act. For you guys that don't know what that is, that was an English decree saying that ships can only go certain places. Hooray for press ganging. Yep. Yep, Dome, I just came from there. Got to yeah, we remembered. Everything was po covered <laughs> in poison. It was depressing. Mm -hmm. That much I remember. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is uh, an interesting town. Because you have like an outdoor bazaar, whereas most of the shops Farmers are Farmer's market, hooray! Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're, they are selling like uh, weapons that we actually already have, so we're all set. <laughs> they don't, it's not a very useful farmer's market. They're pretty much selling like basically rotten apricots. What? Shut up, bitch. Come on, we're just trying to shop. That that kid has an inferiority complex. <laughs> no, the kid is hustling. <laughs> I don't know. The stuff he's selling is not that scandalous. I mean, shit, you could find a white cape on the ground. No, no, that's that's not what I mean. <laughs> That was an attempt to have him take pity on you, so that way we'll care the exorbitance of the prices. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We got all we got all this stuff too. Yeah, we. Oddly enough, a year and a half ago, we did a decent amount of shopping. <laughs> I'm glad we did something. Yep. And I was like, I guess we should get some more. Get some more potions. Mm. Picks up some po some potions. Because you can't have because 39 potions is not enough. Uh, probably not that great. I'll do five. A power of 44 is the perfect number. Something like that. Yep. Yeah, so, just fair advice for you guys, if you are at this point in the game, it's good to get a lot of potions, because you'll need it for what is going to be a fun next part. And this is apparently a grand hotel. Although he's only saying it's a good mattress. 
even though like the that, that's a pretty that's pretty nice for 150 gold. That's more than good mattress. It's a good mattress. It's like you're giving you a sleeping bag on a on a bed of nails or something. Oh, and we did not get molested in the night. Hooray. That's oddly specific, but I... <laughs> By licentious howlers. <laughs> nah, I take it back. That's going to be the name for my new bed. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go outside. Outside is not useful. Yeah, so at this point in the game, guys, there's no point in walking around outside in Nikia. You just want to go straight to the ship. Well, not straight to the ship. Obviously, we went around and shopped and... Uh, Khan get hit on by a by a prostitute, but there's no point of going out on the map screen. Let's put it that way. There's nothing on this island of Wara. Yep. So this this is basically this this whole town is a gas station because we're trying to get back to South Figaro so we can get back to Narj. But basically, all of our characters that get split up are heading back to the, the old coal mining town. So, hop aboard. All right. Apparently for free. Yeah. Nice guy. Now nah, we're probably like pushing crates around or something. And this is the uh, slave-powered ship, obviously, since it doesn't have any sails. Ah, nah. I've seen how they do this. You put one of them chocobos in a hamster wheel, yep. and then it's connected to a series oh, yeah. of pulleys. Yeah, in Final Fantasy X they do that. It's true. <laughs> Stones throw away, and by a stones throw, you mean another couple of miles, actually. Yeah, that was not happening. I'm sure they did. That's so painful. Yeah. Spaz, you don't know our friends. Stop pretending like you know our friends. Who are you? Why are you still following us? All right, so we have completed two scenarios, and now we're going to be going to the final one. What's going to happen? Because remember, the three, these three guys were the ones on the raft when Rocky decided to split. So are we going to make it? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is the Benjaminator. This was Mike. And we'll see you next time. God help us.